we just dropped a new firmware update for the multi-platform version of the Crack Guitars. Let's talk about how to update your firmware, then cover everything we've added. There's two ways to update your guitar's firmware, through the Cracked app or manually through your PC. Updating through the app is the quickest and easiest way, and also allows you to access some extra features within the guitar. If you already have the app downloaded, make sure that it's updated to the most recent version to access the newest firmware. If you don't have the app, download it by scanning the QR code on screen or by searching Cracked in your preferred app store. Once you have the app downloaded, scan your guitar and your collection. When scanning, different phones have different touch points. iPhones are usually near the top, and Androids are usually near the middle of the phone. Touch this point to the cracked wireless icon on the back of your guitar and go through the reveal experience to add your guitar into your collection. Once added, tap on your guitar and then tap the control button and when prompted, make sure your guitar is on and hold down the control button on your guitar for six to eight seconds until the LEDs flash blue. Once connected, the LEDs will become solid and you'll be redirected to the control homepage. Here, you can access your customizable features as well as update your firmware. To update your firmware, click the update firmware pop-up or Click the firmware button and select update firmware. Allow the update to complete to 100%. Don't disconnect or you may encounter issues. Once it's fully completed, you're good to go. For this update, we don't require you to update your dongle, but it is highly recommended that you do. You can only update your multi-platform dongle via your PC. We'll go over the process for both now. First, you'll need to download the latest firmware. You can find the latest firmware by following the link in the description below. Once downloaded, open the file. Your PC may give you a warning when opening this file because it's an application. Once you have the file open, click the version of the guitar you're updating. In this case, we're doing the multi-platform Les Paul, so we will click that. If your guitar is on, make sure to turn it off by holding down the mode dial for 10 seconds until the guitar turns off. Plug the USB side into your PC, and with the guitar off, hold the menu button on the guitar while you plug the USB-C end of the cable into it. The firmware program on your PC should now say connected next to the device status. Click the update button and allow the progress bar to complete. Do not disconnect your guitar during the firmware update or it may cause issues. To update your dongle, open the latest firmware on your PC. Once done, click the correct dongle. In this case, we are updating the multi-platform wireless receiver. Once done, hold the pairing button on your dongle as you plug it into your PC. Your device status should now say connected. Click the update button and allow the progress bar to complete. Do not disconnect your dongle during the firmware update or it may cause issues. Now that you know how to update your firmware, let's talk about what's in this first firmware update. There's been some overall stability and performance enhancements, as well as some minor bug fixes. We fixed an issue that caused inputs to overload when using P3 mode on PlayStation consoles. Setting your mode dial to 8 while playing on PC has now been reconfigured, allowing for a more seamless plug-and-play experience with fan-favorite community games. We've also added solo neck support for legacy Rock Band titles. This will work in wired mode after updating your firmware, a dongle update is also available that will update its compatibility. We've now made platform switching more seamless. Now, when you change your slider, it'll power down the controller automatically, which will help ensure reliable, predictable transitions every time. We've also unlocked a few more features within the app. You can now remap the D-pad, whammy, tilt, and control button right from the companion app. You can find these within the input page by swiping to page two. We've also added a new option in the inputs menu that allows you to disable the navigation hub and left joystick, which helps prevent accidental inputs if you're elbow strumming. We've also introduced the ProTune Beta. This is a new feature set built for expert players and community created games. In wired PC mode, you can now fine tune parameters like polling rate. This is a beta, so we will continue to build on this in future firmware updates. We're always working to continue to make our products and services better, and your feedback plays a major role in that process. If you have ideas to share, we'd love to hear them. Please share your feedback using the form of the description below, and be sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel to stay updated with all things cracked. We hope you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching.